Hi Leo, welcome to your monthly messages from Spirit, June 2020 reading. This is your girl, Mermaid Scales Tarot. Leo, I am so excited to do this reading for you guys. I have been guided, I have been wanting and yearning to do this type of reading you guys, for you guys for so long and finally it's here. I'm so excited. Um, as you, a lot of you may know, I do primarily or did primarily for the last year love readings and I, you know, I understand that not everyone is looking to tarot just for love, you know, just for romance, just for confirmations in love and romance and Spirit's been wanting me to really venture out for a long, long time and I'm deciding to go for it now. Um, guys, this is a reading that I'm going to ask Spirit to come forward and when I say Spirit, I refer to you know, God, I refer to ancestors, I refer to spirit guides, angelic beings, whatever you want to call down, call forth into this reading and that energy that is of the light. I welcome you to do that and to do so. But I refer to it as the collective energies, frequencies, beings that um, don't <laughs> exist physically on this plane and this earth, but are here to guide us on our spiritual path and our evolvement and our evolution as being one of this earth. So I'm going to ask what is going to happen for you guys in the month of June and what spirit wants to provide as advice, insight, and clarity in regards to those situations that may be appearing for you guys in the month of June. So I'm really excited to do this reading for you guys. Also, Leo, I am selling my hand-picked crystal sets and my handmade zodiac candles at my online shop, mermaidscaleshop.com. I hand select each crystal that goes in every crystal set that I feel every purchaser will resonate with and I hand make every zodiac candle that I sell on my online shop where I intuitively choose the scents and the colors that I believe every zodiac sign will vibe with. If you're interested in making a purchase for yourself or someone that you love, please feel free to check out the online store where the link can be found in this description box, mermaidscaleshop.com. Alright Leo, let's get started. Alright, so this reading is for anyone that has Sun, Moon, Rising, or North Node in the sign of Leo, or anyone that has strong Leo placement chart uh, placements in their chart, this reading is for you too. But what I heard when I was getting in that vibe is, it is time. It is time. Wow, yeah, with the Death card coming through and the Ten of Wands. Transformation and Responsibility. And interestingly enough too, Leo, I am feeling a bit of throat chakra energy. Um, I feel as if there's something you guys need to speak on, something that has been withheld. I don't know if it has to revolve around the truth or your truth of who you are. Um, but Leo, there's a huge transformation within what's happening for you or within you in the month of June with the death card. Scorpio energy, some of you guys could have Scorpio in your chart. And with the 10 of wands responsibility, Leo, I'm just hearing you don't have to do it all. I mean, I feel as if a lot of you do have a lot of responsibilities in your life, whether you guys have a lot of, um, you know, responsibilities or duties when it comes to work, when it comes to family, when it comes to friends, when it comes to your dreams and your goals, but I feel as if you guys carry it all on you, thinking that you're the only person that can do all this work, that you're the only one that wants to, um, you know, do this work for yourself, and there's nothing wrong with, you know, working for your own goals and for your own dreams, but I feel a lot of you have put a lot more on your plate, a lot more on your back than you really need to. And I feel like that's gonna come at the come to an end in June, Leo. I feel like a lot of you need to speak on what your boundaries are, what you don't need. I I feel like for a lot of you, 
um, that there's just a lot of other people's responsibilities you may be carrying on you. Or a lot of people who are expecting you to do things for them, Leo, which that that is not your job. That is not your cross to bear. It's someone else's duties and expectations. I, I feel as if a lot of you have been trying to work for someone else or maybe trying to get something to work with someone else. Um, that could be relationship-wise. I mean... This isn't strictly love, but if love is going to pop up, I'm going to speak on it. And for some of you, I definitely feel the Ten of Wands is you wanting someone to take responsibility for where your relationship is. And that doesn't have to be strictly romance. That could be friendship. That could be, um, you know, family members that are involved in this situation. But you're, you don't have to do all the work that you're doing, Leo. And I feel like in June, you're going to come to that re realization. Others of you, I do feel as if there is going to be something that needs to be completed, Leo, that I feel some of you have been putting off. And I'm not saying that you're not taking responsibility for it, but I'm saying that I feel as if it's something you just haven't wanted to address. It's not something that you wanted to have to confront, but it's going to be confronted, Leo. And I do feel another energy around you that you that is a part of the situation, whether you guys are work partners, whether you guys, um, I just feel like a conflict between you and someone else. But Leo, there may be something coming to an end, but it's coming to an end so something new can be rebirthed in your life. So a new you can be transformed into someone that doesn't have to take all the burdens of everyone, that doesn't have to just work, 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 and be the only one. You look around and you're like, damn, am I the only one that cares about this? Am I the only one that's putting work on this? Is no one else going to help me here? I feel like a lot of you are just going to, you know, drop the burden of something particular in your life. And by doing that, by understanding that not everything relies on you to get the job done, not everything relies on you to see something grow, manifest, and prosper, you're going to see that you are holding yourself back from a lot of fulfillment, from a lot of joy. And that's going to be forever done, Leo, after June. You're going to realize you don't have to do all the work for someone else or for, you know, anything else but your own fulfillment and it's not selfish i feel like some of you have you know been trying to work for other people or work with other people because you're afraid that if you were to do something for yourself if you were to take time off for yourself if you were to you know see if they can fulfill it on your own they maybe have told you damn leo why are you being so selfish or it's for some reason that's the feeling you get and that doesn't have to be that case at all Let's get one more card. That's a lot to touch up on. Oop, there we go. Perfect. Six of Wands. Success. Yes, Leo. Yes, I feel as if, you know, with the, the new beginning, the Fool, Aries energy, Aquarius energy, you guys could have those signs in your chart, but this is a whole new you you're diving into, a whole new mindset, a whole new experience by just, you know, stop worrying about what could be at the you know, what's coming next, if you just do this, what horrible circumstances can come about it, but just going for it, taking that risk. And you're guided, by the way, with that dolphin right there. You're guided to do this for yourself, Leo. You're guided to take a chance and to do something for yourself, for your own fulfillment, for your own success. Something huge is coming to an end for you in June, Leo, but it's only going to lead to your success. Whatever has to end needs to end. And with that throat chakra, like, I feel like a lot of you guys have to just explain or communicate what is not going to work for you anymore. What is not your responsibility anymore? What is not your, you know, anything that just holds you back because someone else wants to project this duty or responsibility onto you when really they just don't want to do half of the work. And I'm sorry to say it that way, but that's how I feel. But I do want to clarify this transformation card right here and see what's transforming for you, Leo, in the month of June. 
Why is the death card here for my beautiful Leos? Knight of Wands. I feel as if some of you guys have been held back from pursuing your desires, pursuing your dreams, pursuing what makes you happy, what truly fulfills you, what truly ignites your passion in you. Someone has been, for some of you, been blocking you for that. But that's all going to change, Leo. You're finally going to start believing in yourself. You're going to start listening to yourself. And you're just going to go and do what you want to do without having to explain it to anyone else. Without having to feel like, I have to have a reason to be happy. I have to have a reason to pursue something that isn't part of my 9 to 5 mundane day to day daily task. I want to get another card. Why is the death card here? For Leo. I, I'm hearing the true you is emerging. And the true you, whoever that is, whatever that is within you, we're going to get dig deeper, but that's what's going to lead you to the success. Not what anyone tries to project onto you. Why is death here? For my beautiful Leos. Oops. Rebecca, ooh, two cards, okay. The Emperor, Ace of Wands, beautiful. You guys are taking your power back. And you're listening to your divine calling with the judgment card here. You guys are being guided to know and feel that there's something so much more than what you're doing currently. I do feel it's as if something that you've been wanting to achieve for yourself, something that you wanted to go after as far as your dreams, as far as your goals in life, like... There's a higher calling for you, Leo, and I feel your guides and your ancestors' spirit is making this very clear for you in June that there's something more for you out there. Should you choose to know who you are, to know what you're capable of, and to take action and to take control back over your life, and to go forth with that calling, with the judgment card, very, very strongly here. And Leo, I mean, whatever or whoever was holding you, I mean... Some of you guys could have Aries in your chart, um, but it doesn't have to be the case. Sometimes the emperor for me, and this, this is one of those times, is someone that's trying to control you or trying to control the situation involving you, whatever it is you guys know if this message is for you, but that you can't be tamed, you can't be controlled, you can't be told what to do anymore, Leo. It's just not part of your life path. It's not part of who you are. And you're really coming to that understanding in June. Others of you with the Emperor card, this is you moving forward, going after, taking control back of who you are. This isn't what I was meant to do. Whatever you're doing right now that's completely making you unhappy with yourself, with life, that's not part of your path. And this divine spark in you that has been waiting to be kindled that has been waiting to be shown to you knowing that there's something better out there that's what's going to end the pattern or the um, cycle that you've been going through over and over again it's only going to lead to your success leo or start planting the seeds of success for you i'm hearing august and i know that's your birth month but I really do feel that around August, you're going to see what the steps you're taking now is really going to end for you in August, strongly. You're getting your power back, Leo. You're not taking anyone's crap anymore. You're not putting anyone's others, um, anyone else's responsibilities, duties, projections, judgments onto you anymore because you're not doing what they want you to do or expect you to do. And others of you, if it's not so much someone else that's involved here, it's just knowing that you are working too hard at something that doesn't really make you happy, that really doesn't fulfill you, or that you're not even seeing the rewards of. Do what makes you happy, Leo. Take that power back. Know that you can achieve anything. If there's a will, there's a way. All right, let's see what else our spirit guides and our ancestors want to bring forth for June. What does Leo need to know for the month of June? Ooh, there we go. Vulnerability. Open your heart. 
Allow yourself to be tender. Wow. Okay, Leo. From all this work you're doing, or again, just like taking it all on your own, right? By doing all the work yourself, feeling like you're the only one that can do it or that you're the only one that will understand. I, again, like I just feel like you've been holding back a lot. And I do feel like it's through communication by telling someone like, I've had enough or I've been doing too much or that I need, I've lost a part of myself in this process. Whatever it is for you guys. For some of you, it rang on to what, any of those things I said, but Leo, part of it is also knowing that as much as what you want to conquer, as much as what you want to go enjoy and discover and pursue, a part of that is letting others help you too, or letting others know when you're burned out, when you're too tired, when you can't just do it all on your own. You need to allow that energy or that reception of someone coming in wanting to help you. And I do have to say, Lula, I feel like one of these people is a spirit guide around you that is letting you know that they're, even if you feel no one's helping you, even if you feel like no one's carrying you through this, they have you in their arms. They have you in their heart. They've been the ones when you've been like hitting the ground, feeling like there's not a part of you that can get up and do this again. And all of a sudden you feel this light, you feel this energy of a calming um, around you. And this is for those of you who have experienced this before. They're the ones coming through for you. They're the ones that are trying to get, lift you back up, trying to tell you, look, Leo, you have everything you want. You have everything that you want to put into manifesting your desires. I'm here to help you. Ask and you shall receive. Ask for my help and I will come in and help you. But, you know, there are certain laws <laughs> in this metaphysical world where our spirit guides, our angels, our ancestors cannot help and cannot interfere unless we ask for them to do so. And Leo, I do feel like there's an energy, there's a spirit guide, an ancestor, an angel around you that wants to help you, that wants to help lift those burdens, those responsibilities off you. But you have to ask, you have to pray, you have to meditate. And others of you, you do have to just communicate this to whoever it is in your physical world that you feel is burdening you, who is holding you back, or who is overwhelming you. You need to communicate those things to them, Leo. You have to be open to it. Knowing that just because you're communicating a dissatisfaction with this person that shouldn't inflict on your relationship or where you guys are again, it doesn't have to be romance, it could be anything, right? But even if it does, even if they say, wow, Leo, you're asking me to do this, you're being selfish, you changed, that's an answer in itself that this person is not for you, that this person isn't going to help you, that this person isn't going to help you succeed, that this person isn't someone you can't be vulnerable with, Leo. And to be in a true partnership, friendship, relationship, vulnerability is a requirement. Wow. Yeah, and with sanctuary at the bottom, privacy, inviolate personal space, respected boundaries and taboos. You guys have been wanting the sanctuary. You need this time, you need this space, you need this healing. Some of you, taking a bath is very healing for you. If you don't have a bath, um, I suggest standing in the shower for a bit. Um, water is something that's very connected to you. So I don't know if you guys have water in your chart, Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Doesn't have to be the case, but you need to find somewhere where you can really unwind, where you can really let go of your responsibilities and your duties and just let yourself relax, Leo. Wow. And even in that time of sanctuary, you may find that divine spark that's waiting to be incited in you, that calling, that knowing. A lot of you already know what that calling is, but for those of you that don't, um, take that time for meditation, take that time for peace. Take that time to ask spirit, ask your guides, what am I here to do? And in that meditation, in that state, you will find the answers. Should you be willing to receive whatever comes in your mind's eye, your third eye chakra. Do not dismiss what you see or hear while you meditate. All right, let's see what else about your ancestors and your spirit guides want to bring forward to my Leos for the month of June. 
What do my beautiful Leos need to know for the month of June? White witch, be the light and mountain, stand your ground. Yes, Leo, beautiful. Okay, so with the mountains here, some of you got Capricorn in your chart that I'm <laughs> picking up on. I don't know why, but um, yeah, you really, really need to speak your truth. You really, really need to establish your boundaries and stand your ground. Don't let people make life harder for you than it has to be. Don't let yourself accept these duties, responsibilities, this work that is just making your life harder. And again, I'm not saying give up on your day-to-day -day responsibilities, but I'm saying there's so much more than that, Leo, that you're being called to do, that you're being called to bring forth into this world. And I do feel like a lot of people around you um, just try to pile on more and more on your plate that isn't yours, that shouldn't be yours. So stand your ground if that's the case for you. But Leo, be the light. I mean, I feel a lot of you have the powers of manifestation waiting to grow inside of you, waiting to create, waiting to shine and grow, but you guys are just coming into that understanding of that power within you, of that light within you. A lot of you have wisdom from many lifetimes ago but with that wisdom you're starting to tune into by separating yourself from everyone else, by isolating yourself in that sanctuary. You're starting to, or will start to in the month of June, connect to that intuition, connect to that inner knowing, and really start to recognize that divine spark, that power waiting to come about in you. I mean, some of you may be thinking about um, going into... Um, paganism or wicca for some of you not all obviously um others of you it's just being the light leo is what you do when you choose to do what's best for yourself and when you recharge yourself when you're in that full power that's when you can bring the light into the world and the light that matters the light that isn't just working for your paycheck the light that is actually going to be a part of your success. I, I can't get further than that from what Spirit's telling me because again, whatever that divine spark you're being called to do is different for all of you. But once you come into the start of mastering those skills from mastering whatever it is that's waiting to be a light within you, that's when you're going to start to see the success. That's when you're going to start to see the growth. But it all feels very new to you because I feel like for a long time, a lot of people have always been relying on you. But right now, you just need to rely on yourself and making those choices for yourself to come into this new awakening, to come into this new light, to come into this new prosperity that you're being called to do, Leo. I'm hearing you're a soldier of the light. <laughs> I, I mean, some of you could associate with being light workers or... You know, someone who is brought on this earth to bring that awareness, that consciousness um, expansion that so many of us are going through at this period of time, or at least with the age of Aquarius, that's what the world and the collective is expecting to do, to arise into a new frequency. You're a part of that, Leo. Wow. Okay. So I am going to pull an Ascended Master card. I'm going to ask which Ascended Master, whose energy will be with you in the month of June and what they're going to be helping teaching you. The Sacred Self, the Shekinah. I'm sorry if I'm saying that wrong. Um, Aries got this. So if you guys have Aries in your chart, I suggest watching that video to see if there's any messages there. But it says, unleash your spirit, express your gifts, dance to the sacred rhythm of life. With Sir Sir Nuno, no, so sorry, Sir Nunos. I'm sorry if I'm saying that wrong. Life force, express your driving passion. Sensual and sexual powers are increased. Yeah, Leo, there's a divine spark in you that's been waiting to be enlightened, as I've said time and time again, but this just keeps on reiterating it. Or spirit, your ancestors, the beings coming forth want to say that there's a life force in you that's been waiting to be fired. And in June, it's gonna be sparked. 
it's going to be sparked should you understand and know and communicate what your boundaries are, what you're no longer going to work towards that isn't fulfilling you, that isn't driving your passion, that isn't making you happy. But with this being your main card, the sacred self, uh, Leo, you have gifts, you have feminine, strong energies, regardless if you're a male or a female, there's a divine knowing, a divine light in you that you're coming to the understanding of how powerful that is and what that really entails as far as being your true calling is listening to that inner light, listening to that guidance, listening to that divine knowing that you're here to put a spark into the world collectively through feminine energies, through intuition, through visions, through expressing what you see from those visions and what you feel from those meditations. It, okay, so I'm going to read the background of the Shekinah to give you guys some background of who the Shekinah is and why they're here in your reading. The Shekinah is the twin flame of the Holy Spirit. It is the female aspect of the God particle or creation energy. She is more of an essence than a being but has the ability to show herself in ways that we will understand. She is acknowledged and in the sacred teachings of Judaism and also called the Sophia of Christ in the Gnostic Gospels. She is a powerful female voice of spirit who is here to bring about equality and to help the world move on from the male-only image of God. She reminds us that God is an all-loving and all-accepting. Whenever she appears in a reading, she points out the change makers, the love creators, and gift sharers of the world who are here to unite all hearts around the world. Oh my God, in the extended reading, or the extended message, this is what it says. Don't feel the need to hold back or dampen your spirit. This is a time to celebrate. There is a feeling of dance and joy around you at this time as you fully recognize your splendor. You are a sacred being who defies gravity every day just by being alive and bringing a sense of balance and equality to the world. Yeah, Leo, you have been holding back for way too long. You have, uh, you know, spirits telling me you have been avoiding your divine calling, your divine path for way too long. You were brought to this earth not just to do the day-to-day -day tasks, the, you know, expected accomplishments that society has put forward to us. You are meant to do so much more with your light, with your power, with your gifts, whatever they are. For some of you, I do feel like it's psychic. I do feel like there is manifestation here that you are tuning into or becoming aware of. But it's something or someone that has been just burdening you from expressing who you are or going onto that divine path into that divine calling of being the light, the true light that you've been waiting to be. And Leo, I can't say it enough, that is where your success is. That is where it is. Not in the amount of money you make, not in what you bring home to the table. It's the light that you have within you and how that's going to be shown to the world. I feel the need to say whatever has been holding you back, let it leave, let go. And what you've been wanting to manifest, what you've been called to do, follow that. Follow that, Leo. Your guides want you to, I want you to. That is part of your dream fulfillment. That is part of your path. All right, Leo, I'm going to go ahead and call on the animal spirit realm to bring forth themselves and to see what they have to say for you guys in the month of June. What do you have for my beautiful Leos? Okay. Elephant greatness. So love is your strength. Leadership is your path. Your wisdom inspires everyone you meet. You can overcome any problem. You will naturally and easily achieve success. Yeah, Leo, you are meant for greatness. You are meant to achieve something amazing in this lifetime. You are a leader. You are someone who is strong, who does inspire those around you, but you are not meant to be the one that carries everyone on your back. You are not meant to be the one who is the only person that can get other people's jobs done or to make sure everything else is afloat. That is not what you are meant here to do. You are meant to create. You are meant to provide wisdom and inspiration and light into the lives of 
those you affect. And I'm saying that too with the be under the deck community. You are a powerful creator. Isn't that what I said, Leo? Your work blesses everyone, everything you touch. Be open to receiving sweetness. You are the queen or king of abundance. Yes, you are, Leo. And you know, with this, I feel like Spirit's bringing this forth because I, you guys maybe be like, what, mermaid? Like, you just told me not to help everyone. That's not what I'm saying. And let me be very clear. Maybe you guys have done a lot of work for people up to this point, up till June. But I feel like a lot of you have been giving too much of yourself. A lot of you have been putting on too much just for the sake of the community, just for the sake of others. And I feel like in June, you're going to come to the understanding of that balance of where you're doing too much, of where everyone's relying on you when that's not what makes a community work. What makes a community work is having a leader, having someone tell people, okay, in order for all of us to get along, in order for all of this to work, you need to do this, you do this, you do this, based on your skills, based on your abilities, and then we can all work together to pull through. And Leo, I feel like you are the leader in that community, absolutely, whatever that is for you, family, work, friends, whatever that is. But Leo, especially at work, if you've been doing working something that you're unhappy with, it's because that's not part of your divine calling. And you're called to do and conquer and learn, achieve greatness in this lifetime. That is what you're meant to do. That's what you are called to do. And I feel like there's something very particular you guys have been wanting to do, but unable to do so because of circumstances, because of situations, and even for some of you, because of people. But Leo, in the month of June, you're going to know that your existence, your being, your essence is a greatness. A greatness that cannot be stopped. A greatness that is meant to do and create so much in this life. You're really going to come into that understanding. And even use your past experiences for some of you to understand what you've been doing too much of and what you need to let go of in order to achieve that greatness. All right, I'm going to pull one more card from the spirit guides, from the spirit realm, to see any advice for Leo for the month of June. What's advice from the beautiful Leo for the month of June? There we go. Be at home, wombat spirit, and canary spirit, sing your own song. Um, so I who had this? It was either Aries or Taurus. So again, check those signs if you have those signs in your chart. But Leo, this is becoming comfortable with who you are, what you are meant to do at this life. Be at home in yourself, in your essence. And not letting anyone else intrude that understanding of yourself, not letting anyone else try to take that understanding of yourself away from you, but being very assured and very confident in what you are supposed to do on this earth, what you are supposed to accomplish, and how you are supposed to accomplish at the very essence of who you are and what drives you, what makes you passionate, what inspires you. And with Canary, sing your own song, I mean, yeah, throat chakra has been tingling this whole time during this reading. Some of you guys want to sing. Some of you guys are great singers. That could be an indication for some of you guys out there being musicians of some way. But if that's not the case for you guys, you're not meant to travel the same path that 95% of this, uh, the people here are doing. You're meant to create your own path. You're meant to follow a divine calling that sets you apart from everyone else. So don't feel as if because you're treading away from the path that everyone else does means that you're d making the wrong decision or that you're going on a path that isn't for you. No, Leo. The path that is not explored the most is the path for you. You're put on this earth to be your own person, to create your own song, to be who you are, to listen to that divine calling and to pursue it. And again, when you follow that own path, when you're comfortable with who you are enough to start going down that path, that is when your success, that's when your greatness is going to manifest and come forth to you, Leo. Wow. Amazing reading, Leo, for June. I really hope this resonated with you guys. 
If it did, please let me know. Please drop a comment. Please like, share it, and don't forget to subscribe. I love you guys very, very much, and I'll see you next time. Take care, Leo.